都藏起过眼泪吧，在你说离开的时候，我们都曾恋恋不舍吧，在彼此走远的时候，我们都怪爱情短暂吧，在转瞬即逝的时候。我们都想破镜重圆吧，在彼此沉默的时候。我愿意说，我愿意听，我想让你知道。不愿意走，不愿意忘，我想被你看到。生命。想奔跑，谁都免不了摔跤。留给彼此的爱，再多也嫌少。爱是一个微笑，愿意陪着你到老，牵着你的手，走到天涯海角。曾经的彼。再没相爱的感觉，多好。How many times have I told you? Nothing is more important than lighting. Already forgotten, have you? Been daydreaming again. Now listen to me carefully. Lighting is the first aesthetic priority of any gallery space. From the exterior to the interior, we need to establish gradual, subtle transitions in our lighting designs and installations. It's all about look and feel. Understand? I won't hear any more of this creativity is everything nonsense. The clock's ticking. Just get the job done. I expect to see new designs from all of you tomorrow morning. Do re mi fa sol la ti ti do. Do re mi. Monsieur. Yes. Monsieur. Oh yeah, Charlotte. Could you find out about the rehearsal for the singing contest? I'm so busy right now. Help me out. Yeah.、Ah, okay, Monsieur. Yeah.、Uh, I think we shouldn't rely too much on artificial lighting. It doesn't complement the environment, and I think it could influence some of our exhibits negatively. Charlotte. How long have you been at the institute? I'm Sarah Lynn.、Um, oh, I've been here for three months. Oh, Sarah. Look, Monsieur, please, if you wouldn't mind, this is my latest design. In this design, here, I've tried to、um, open up the south-facing facade. You see, it opens up to the garden space. This way, we can really make the most、uh, of it. Turns out it was you who sent two copies of this to my mailbox. <laughs> yes, this one is the latest. Uh huh. Bright spark. I can't fault your enthusiasm. Well, where did you graduate from? Oh, from Tsinghua. Oh, impressive. Okay. So, I'll have a look at it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Monsieur. Remember, find out about the rehearsal for me. Hmm. Full of sun, me a name I call myself, but a long, long way to run.、Thank、you
can't finish it on time. I agree with you. It's impossible. <sighs> the Wanderer returns. You, you're back. Come here, guys. Look what I've got. Give me that one. <clears throat> Find something useful. <sighs> Are you serious? It's such I heard a that waste of time. this Miss Yi wasn't too pleased with this design. Look at this one. They had a meeting today, Please right? Work. And she was all with it's them. All rubbish. <sighs> What's she after? So much rubbish. Some kind of circus show. Spending valuable work time on this. Misconduct, if you ask me. <laughs> huh. Hey, give it to me. Ford. Air. Where's Sean? How about this one? In the office? Oh, no, no. See, so moving up in the world? Quite a big fish, eh? I come all this way for a meeting with you. Mr. B, hands. What now? Sanitizer, waterless. Oh, you think I'm carrying germs? I'm telling you. I've done this so many times. It's all about knowing your enemy better than you know yourself. The number one rule in this industry is not about creativity or great ideas. It's information. Who lacks information? You can see the wood for the trees. You've got no chance. You will fall at the first hurdle. Do you read me? I'd rather fail than plagiarize their design. Listen carefully. I don't care what you think. I'm here to keep this company afloat. I think highly of you. I trust you. I hired you as chief designer for this company. This is your first project. Your competitor is the best of the best. You're going to be crushed if you don't give it your all. Now listen, this is your one and only chance. Is that clear? The last one. Brave, Brave, Brave women, women, fish. fish. <laughs> hey, it's mine. mine. Stop hey, 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 you. girl, stop it. We have more. Mr. Tsai, don't you know we've been doing this all these years? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, here! Huh. <laughs> Look at you. You also grown up. I remember when you were this little, how you loved to eat my braised fish. Mm. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, we can't eat all these. This is enough. The soup's ready. Chancha, coming. Bring the soup here quickly. <laughs> Thanks. Here. Mm -mm, here, here, no, here. Okay, okay, put it here. Hey, hey. All right, all right. Chenchi, you and Dad sit and eat with us. There's no one here. Yeah. No, no, no. You three ladies, you eat and enjoy yourself. Chenchi and I still have work to do. Right. Okay. You guys eat enjoy them all it, up. Yeah? All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Mmm, tasty. Delicious. Mm, delicious. <laughs> I asked you two here today because I have something important to say. What's that then? Spit it out. <clears throat> I'm pregnant. <gasps> what? <gasps> Really? You're really pregnant? Amazing! How far along? Three months. <laughs> hey, so has Joe proposed then? Wait, I need to get the phone. It's Joe. Hi, Joe. Hey there! Where are you at? We're in my father's restaurant. Come and eat with us. I've eaten. I'm still at the office. I'll come and get you later. Have you been drinking? Don't worry, babe. I'm sober. All right? Okay, see you later. Okay, later. Tell me then, has he proposed or not? Ta-da! <gasps> Diamond! <laughs> ah, so gorgeous! Let me have a look. So shiny! Zoe, look, it's so shiny! Beautiful. <laughs> Actually, I should thank Zoe. Why thank me? If it weren't for you introducing Joe to me, I would never have been getting married so soon. What about you and Jonathan, huh? I'm just waiting for him to buy me a rock even bigger than that one. Don't be so greedy. You two are perfect together. Hurry up and get married. Tell me about your wedding first. My wedding? I can't tell you anything now. All will be revealed in time, and that's all for now. Still a mystery then? And I'm guessing a fairy tale wedding, and you'll be wearing.
looking this up? Ford! Anyone? I'm so stuffed. Hey, stop rubbing your belly. It just makes it bigger. Hey, when will you get your marriage certificate? Come on. I haven't even met Joe's mother yet. It's seriously stressing me out. She's so lucky to have such a kind, gorgeous daughter-in-law. I guarantee it. She's gonna love you. Hey, Joe. Oh. Well, all three princesses are here. <laughs> and here's the prince. Yeah, all right. Seems I'm your driver today. Now we just need to decide who goes Thank home you. first. Hello. Ha! My driver is here too. Jill, this is John, Sarah's fiance. They're gonna get Hello. married soon. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Goodbye, John. Bye bye. <laughs> Mr. Tsai, we're leaving now. Okay. Zoe, let's go together. He can drop you home. You need to look after this pregnant woman. No need to drop me off. You take care then. Okay. Dad, Chunchi, I'm okay. leaving. Okay, take care, dear. Goodbye, Zoe. Mm. Drive safely. Mm. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Zoe, what about yeah? you? Uh, I'll walk home. No problem. Okay, take care, dear. Okay, goodbye. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello? Mm, you're back. Yeah. Ting Ting sleeping? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm making some of that rose hip gem you like. <sighs> I still remember. When I was pregnant with Ting Ting. I love that rose hip jam. It was all I could eat. Everything else made me throw up. I'll go check on Ting Ting. I dreamt about you last night again. In my dream, you were wearing a white wedding dress, smiling at me from the other side of the red carpet. I wanted to hold your hand, but whatever I did, I couldn't get close to you. Honestly, I've had the same dream. But you know it's just a dream. Joe. The reason why I agreed to see you in the middle of the night is, is just so that you know it's the last time we can ever meet each other like ex-lovers.
I... I have a boyfriend now. Is this that Tong guy? Yes. Well, to be honest, I don't feel good about this. Please don't, Joe. Looking back, I think that the worst is already behind us now. Why did you have to set me up with Tracy? You knew that in my eyes, I had never wanted to marry anyone other than you. Don't you say that ever again. You need to take good care of Tracy. Today, she showed us the diamond ring you gave her. She looked so happy. Not a care in the world. You know, she definitely considers herself the luckiest girl in the world. Tracy's a kind and lovely girl. Make sure you take care of her. Joe, what we did was wrong, and we've hurt many people. Don't do this to Tracy again, all right? Don't let her down. Don't stay too late, okay? Wait. Mr. B, good news. I have a new plan. Look at this. In this design, I want to reimagine the whole structure of the space. No wall in the south, and the sunlight will filter directly through the roof. Then, we can make full use of the natural light and synchronize the interior and exterior spaces. What do you think? Honourable judges, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's my honour to be invited to attend the Museum of Contemporary Art Design competition and enter the final round with my design. Uh, please allow me to add something here. This is the sixth museum that I've designed so far. Six is also my lucky number. When I was 26, my first project was a museum. I'm turning 60. I don't mean to brag. I've worked for 36 years in this industry. I hope number six can bring me luck today. Perhaps this art museum could be mine. 60th birthday present today. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Now, would you please take a look at the screen? You're going to marry the CEO of a real estate corporation. 
You can't keep dressing like a little girl or a waitress. I'm going to teach you an important word. What? Understated. And elegant? Don't give too much away. And give off a sense of refinement. <sighs> Tell me, why does Joe want to marry me? You're so young, gorgeous and lovely. You deserve a man like him. I guess it's your destiny. Thank you for introducing him to me. <laughs> you just be happy, okay? Mm. Hey, you met his ex-wife, right? What do you want to know? I was just thinking, she was so young, only in her 40s, but died in an accident. It's just so sad. Tracy, mm. don't ask Joe about his past, especially not his ex-wife. Can't I? You can't. You're going to get married. You'll be happy together. <laughs> this dress is perfect for you, right? <laughs> it takes me 12 seconds to solve the cube. Mm, I have to admit, this is so unusual. Actually, this time was three seconds slower than my record. I've always loved solving the Rubik's Cube. It fascinates me because it can change. It's unpredictable, but at the same time, it follows a certain pattern. I have another passion in life, a passion for art. In my mind, art is not so different from the Cube. Both are unpredictable, both follow specific rules. So everyone, please, have a look at my design. What do you think? Do you notice how it looks like a Rubik's Cube? As you can see, I open up the south-facing facade of the museum and connect the inside space with the garden outside so we can make full use of natural light. Here, I've also designed a huge terrace on the roof. All kinds of art-related activities could be held here. So people would be drawn into this space filled with the aroma of coffee, a perfect symphony of light and space. In this space, you can enjoy the sunlight and wonder at the stars. You could say it's a garden with birds and flowers, or it could be a square in which to play and meet friends, or maybe it could be a cafe space for thinking and relaxing. Speciality art is no longer just the pleasure of a few cultured individuals, so why not build an art museum that combines art and living for everyone? After some serious consideration from our judges, I can declare the ultimate winning design for the museum goes to... The Huatai Architectural Firm! Yeah! Good. Can you tell me what happened exactly? I don't know. What do you mean? How come your design was copied by our competitor? Tell me. I was just... I also think it's weird. But aren't you always saying that in this industry, similarities can be found in all kinds of designs? It must be a coincidence. Excuse me. Open up the south-facing facade. Connect the inside space with the garden outside. Make full use of the natural light instead of artificial lighting to make an environmentally friendly design. You think I can't read? This goddamn coincidence lost us this battle that we should have won. The hard work of half a year all wasted, Missy. Listen here. If you still want to stay here and work for this company, you'd better explain this to me. 
Tell me exactly what happened, are we clear? How did they buy you? How much did they pay you? Have you told all the trade secrets to our competitors? No, monsieur. I, w I would never do this to our company. And their design is not identical. To mine, I Enough. intend... I have been the chief designer here for decades. And I haven't lost one contract. And now, can you believe that I'm defeated by an unknown private architectural firm because of you? Ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself! You can't take that with you. But I bought all these things. I know you bought them. But I've been instructed that you shouldn't take anything from this office. Did you know? I can't believe it's her. Come on, come on, get back to work. Come on. Get back to work. How could I know anything about this? I came up with a concept that Monsieur didn't accept it. How could I know they came up with the same idea and won? And then favoring natural light over artificial lighting was also my idea. And their design was the same. I know it's weird, but I didn't even have a chance to explain myself. <sighs> so now I'm a spy who sold her secrets to them? Do I look like a spy to them? I'd never do anything despicable like that. We failed to win the bid. Monsieur shirked her responsibilities and shifted the blame onto me. Why should I take the blame and now I'm responsible? And now she's badmouthing me to other companies. I'll never find a job in this industry again. Oh dear. Poor thing. They've scapegoated her. It's ridiculous. She's innocent. It's obviously not her fault. Of course. Stop crying. It's no big deal. Hey, don't worry. You're beautiful and talented, right? You graduated from a famous <laughs> university. You'll find a job of course. soon. And you gotta remember, you got Joe now. Yeah. Listen to this pretty lady, it's true, you don't need to worry. Hey. <coughs> Is she okay? <coughs> How long have you been feeling nauseous? What do you mean? When was your last period? Any chance you could be pregnant? No way in hell! Stop the nonsense, alright? You don't know when your last period was? Come on, you two are scaring me! Go to the hospital right now, <laughs> alright? Huh? Have a checkup. Just find out if... Go right now! If you're pregnant or not. Huh? Sarah Lynn? Here. Okay, Slowly. you can go in. Hi. You must be so. Uh, hello, Doctor. Hello, please sit. Uh, can you tell me, in either of your families, did anyone ever have epilepsy? <sighs> no, no one. Uh, my father told me once that. My uncle had it, and he died when he was young. What's wrong? Oh, Miss Lynn, your case report indicates that there are some chromosomal abnormalities. Chromosomal abnormality? What's that mean? Oh, uh, it means that the baby is likely to have congenital epilepsy. 
But don't worry, okay? There's possibility he might have it. So allow me to tell you something about genetic diseases. Genes normally contain a recessive or dominant trait. Generally, the incidence of a genetic disease of the recessive trait is lower than 5%. So what will cause a recessive trait to become a dominant trait and trigger a disease? All latest scientific research indicates our environment. Environment? Yes. Uh, if the environment you live in has been polluted for a long time, the recessive gene is very likely to mutate and become dominant, and then possibly be inherited. If not for the doctors mentioning it, I might have forgotten my uncle's epilepsy. I'm sorry. She made a mistake. It can't be true. It's not true. Let's go to another hospital. It can't be wrong. Why can't it be wrong? You don't have it. Neither does your father. Nor your sister has it. Why would our baby have it? The doctor told us it could be a genetic mutation. We're healthy, but our baby might not be. It's not true. I'll never believe it. Let's go to other hospitals to recheck to make sure. Don't worry. But listen to me, okay? If the results are the same, what should we do? You tell me what to do. The doctor suggested, in this situation, people usually have an abortion. Hey, Sarah, calm down. I haven't finished. What are you going to say? What are you trying to say? The baby is in my body. It is a part of me. Do you get that? What do you think I am? What do you think our baby is? You think you can just throw it away like some kind of garbage, right? It's our baby, not something we just picked up at the store. We can't just change our minds and ask for a refund at the store. It's what the doctor said. I'm just repeating her words. Can you stop being so sensitive about it for a minute, huh? The doctor also said, Less than 5% chance, not 100%. Are you telling me that those are bad odds and we should just give up? The abnormality is a fact. I'm also completely torn up inside. I feel terrible for you. But can we please stop arguing and blaming each other for this? Let's calm down. And think of a solution, okay? You listen to me, I won't calm down. The baby is in my body, you just can't understand how this feels. You stay here and calm yourself down. Don't follow me, I don't want to see you. Sarah. Tracy. What happened to you? Huh? Why are you crying? What's up? What's up? What's making you so sad? <laughs> what happened? Come on, tell me everything. You're scaring me now. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be real, right? I don't believe it. John and you are so healthy. It can't be true. When the doctor told me, I couldn't believe it. What did the doctor say? The doctor was actually calm. She suggested that we abort the baby. But I can't do that. We brought him into this world. But he has no... Has no chance to open his eyes before leaving. My heart is broken by it. Does John know then? We went to the hospital together. What did he say? He said... 
have an abortion, like the doctor said. Sarah. Sarah! Where have you been? You turned your phone off. You had us worrying. I went to Tracy's house. I called Tracy just now, but she didn't pick up. I told her not to. I wanted to think. I know about the tests. John has told me everything. Not now. Sarah must be hungry. Let her eat something. When we were at the hospital, I was in a bad mood. I didn't think about how this was for you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, honey. I should apologize to you, too. Here. Have some food. You must be hungry. No need. I'm not hungry. John is right. The doctor recommended having an abortion. And then what? You're still young. You can easily try again. And have another abortion? So you mean that all people who have genetic diseases should never have babies? Is that what you mean? I didn't mean that, all right? The doctors told us it's because of the recessive trait. The actual incidence is lower than 5%, right? How do you know the next baby wouldn't have the same odds? So what do you want to do? I want to have the baby. Look, look at all these trees. I love trees. Really? This is the front yard. The back garden is much bigger. Uh, there's a stream over there. Really? What's your step? I live upstairs with my daughter. Uh, my mother lives downstairs. Down there is the cellar and games room. It's a big house. <laughs> oh. The kitchen and the dining room. Ah, uh, so beautiful. We also have beautiful. a very big kitchen. Mm. The dining room is in that corner. Mm. The drawing room. Wow, so much light. Yes, a lot of light, mostly natural. We took great pains to position the room for the light. <laughs> oh, here. The sofas are imported from Italy by air. Really? Check out the garden there. It was done by a famous designer, an exquisite piece of art. The trees are all rare species. <laughs> They've all been featured in magazines. Really? Of course. <laughs> There's an elevator in the house, right here. Who, who is it? Uh, hey. Come this way. <laughs> uh, look, that's the stream. Oh, right, the piano. Uh, the piano. Uh, I bought it for my daughter when she was five. She became really good at it. She can teach you. <laughs> She's very smart. I think you two will get on like a house on fire. Really? Of course. <laughs> sit, sit for a while. Let me get my mother, huh? Hey. Hmm? I'm still a bit nervous. Oh, there's no need to be nervous. Huh? Relax. Sit down. Jesse, serve tea. Oh, yes. Sit, 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 sit. Who asked you to take that down? <sighs> Mom, this is Tracy's first time here. Why did you get that out and put it up there? I put it out there to remind you how Sophie's mom died years back. 
How Sophie's mom died has nothing to do with Tracy, Mom. Don't call me Mom. No son of mine behaves like this. Mom. Don't come in here. Look at yourself. You have everything going for you. You're a respectable man, and you dare bring this tramp into my home. Mom. Depression killed Sophie's mom. Tracy has nothing to do with her death, all right? Back then, when you and Sophie's mother were fighting every day, nearly broke everything in this house. You thought I couldn't hear that, huh? <laughs> 